Hi guys. <coughs> Little bit of a post bag. I think I know what it is. But um, as you know, we can't always be sure. Because I don't know about you, but uh, half the stuff I order, I can't, I can't remember ordering it. <laughs> that will allow me in. Yes, it looks like it is what I thought it was. And hopefully, this will help with my videoing. Because um, I want to start doing stuff outside. I don't have to keep on going up to the camera and uh, say what I'm doing. It's. Uh, Oh, by the way, I, I bought this myself, um, so uh, this is my own personal unboxing and review, okay? Oh, let's see how it comes. Oh, here's the tab. Uh, first of all, what have we got on the back? Package list. Transmitter, receiver... Lavalier Mic 1, 3.5mm TRS output cable, 3.5 TRS TRRS output cable, uh, belt clip, cold shoe adapter for the camera, and a storage bag. Uh, transmitter is on the UHF band 572 to 586, working distance 50 meters. Modulation mode FSK, dynamic range 92 decibels, transmit power 13.5 dBm, input impedance 2.2k, kilo ohms that is, input gain adjustment 1 to 5 levels adjustable, audio output 3.5mm, and that's just the working storage tank. The receiver is the same range, 50 meters. SNR 70 dB, image rejection 45 dB M, dynamic range 92 dB, received power 35 dB M, output impedance 400 ohms, output gain adjustment 1 to 5 levels, audio output 3.5 mil, and then the working temperatures and uh, storage temperatures. So let's see what it is like inside. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> nice bag. But it's um, a hard case ba uh, bag. Right. I'll just pull you out a little bit. Maybe round a little bit. There we go. Okay. Cool. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, this is the transmitter by the look of it. Yep. One transmitter. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the I'll put it where it's supposed to be, Raymond. There you go. This is the receiver. Yep. Volume control, channel control. And I suppose this one's the same thing. Volume control, channel control. Yep. What I like about it is this little stubby aerials. You haven't got those long things flapping it around. <coughs> okay. There we go. This is the um, lapel mic. And uh, 
it's got a decent length on it and it's got one of those jacks that screw in you know, so you don't pull it out so this is the uh, hot, hot shoe is it? I'm getting or is this a sealed bag? it's a sealed bag right. Yeah, that'll fit on the back. The transmitter will fit on the back. And uh, will it, it looks like it will even take the belt clip. No. No. So how does that work? Um, It must take well cut. I've got it off, I can't get it back in. <laughs> right. That side's in. size in. Okay. So let's see how this fits in there. So that would go in there, that would go in that one. Got on. I've no idea. We'll find out when I look at the manual. <laughs> right. This is Another lead, which is from the receiver to like the camera or what you the audio uh, system you're using to record your your voice. I have got a camera with a mic input, but whether it's this uh, type of input or not, I don't know. Mm. We'll find out. Yeah, I like these lovely gold um, plugs. Okay. Battery is not included, which isn't surprising. User manual. Um, Somewhere it will tell us all oh, right. So that one goes into the no, that one have to go into the receiver. Yep, and then that one goes into the no. Hmm. I'll sort it out. Okay, um, as always I'm well prepared. <coughs> now I don't think there's any batteries in here. It doesn't feel heavy enough. No. And it takes two double A's. And each one, that's the uh, transmitter and then the um, receiver. Right. Uh, indicator light, audio red light keeps on, normal recording status, red light flickers, audio distortion. So that's how you can uh, see when you adjust the volume what's happening. Uh, the receiving end, red light keeps on, channel matches, red light flickers, channel doesn't ma match. Green light flickers, sound input. Right. So in other words, with the receiver, when you've got the red light on, it doesn't match, so you just click it round. And when it flickers, uh, sorry, when the red light keeps on, sorry, channel matches. 
If it flickers, you got to keep going round till you find it, until the red light stays on. And then when um, the green light flickers, then that's when you're talking and then the receiver is picking up the uh, audio. Okay. Not a great deal. Oh, here we go. Operation and usage. I should have read that, shouldn't I? Instead of putting it down here. Okay. Insert the three and a half mil audio input cable into mic socket of the transmitter. It's transmitter. What's on the other end? There's a mic. So it's this one. That goes in there. <coughs> like so. Um, push the power button to turn on the device and the indicator light turns red. Clip the transmitter onto your belt or put it in your pocket. Right, the receiver. Attach the cold shoe adapter to the receiver and mount them on the camera or photographic equipment. Well, that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Because I don't quite know. How that's supposed to work. There's no diagram to show how to put the uh, shoe on. That's how to put the batteries in. Oh, I see, it goes under the. Ah, right. Your plank, Raymond. It goes on like you'd have it on your belt. Oh, got to be clipped into it there. That should hold it. There we go. That's how it goes, people. Use the belt clip to hold it on, and then that attaches to the camera. And I'll show you the camera I'm going to be trying to use. Uh, not that one. It's, uh, this one. So I've, I've already got a camera with a static mic, but I wanted a radio mic. So take that off of here. I've got to get some uh, batteries for that anyway. They call it a hot shoe. <laughs> See? They call it a hot shoe. Yeah. Oh. Tell you what, if my brains were dynamite, I wouldn't have enough to shift a hair on my head. Well, come on. Thank you. you got to turn the knob down from the shoe first. Yes, right, okay. And then you slide it in and then you lock it down. There we go. What a palaver. Easy for an intelligent person. Very difficult for a Raymond. Well, so that's how that goes. I'll leave that there like that so you can see. Can you see? Yep. Okay. Or even that way. And then this for, um, lead from the...
goes into most of it into there like that. Right. So what I've got to do now is get some AA batteries. Okay. Now I've no idea where the volume is. Uh, I know where the volume control is, but um, I don't know whether it's down, high, or intermediate. I'll find that out when I replay it back. Anyway, I'm just going to go for a walk, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And I'll keep talking to you. Oh, by the way, this uh, is what we've been calling the birthday bike. Um, I bought it to do up for a car. Right, uh, I'm in the kitchen and it looks like the SAS have been in here. Uh, no, I'll rephrase that. If the SAS did an exercise in my kitchen it would be a lot tidier. Right, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to the um, front door downstairs It'll give you some idea of this thing. The weather outside. Right. You watch. The volume is going to be all the way down, and I will record it nothing. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Let's see how we did, shall we? I'll replay that back on the camera with the mic. So, 